chose to analyze and use the La Corte Orialis Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indian vs. Lester P. Voigt and the State of Wisconsin case as my primary source. This is the case that made the Voigt decision where the signatory tribes of the 1837, 1842, and 1854 had not ceded their hunting, fishing, and gathering rights of Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. This was a case involving the Ojibwe and their spearfishing rights off of their reservations. Fred and Mike Tribble of the La Corte Orialis, one of the six Ojibwe tribes located in northern Wisconsin, were arrested after practicing their natural rights of spearfishing outside of their reservation. This, of course, led to the suit of the state of Wisconsin for infringing on Ojibwe rights to hunt and fish on ceded land. I chose this source because it directly links to the Voigt decision that would ultimately decide that the state of Wisconsin had no authority over the Treaty of St. Peter's of 1837 and La Pointe of 1842. It was the decision that reinforced Ojibwe hunting, fishing, and gathering rights. Of course, it was also the decision that later on sparked major controversies in Wisconsin that also led to some violent protests. This source reveals to us the importance of hunting, fishing, and gathering lifestyle that has been practiced throughout Ojibwe lineage. I have quoted from Larry Lesper's book, The Walleye War. To the Ojibwe tribe, spearing of walleye at night has close connections to the origin, origin and identity of Ashinageg, who lived in Lac du Flambeau area. Nesper 56. Spearfishing was a way for the Ojibwe to connect with their water and lands. It was a subsistence way of living. Not much has changed of the Voigt decision. It still remains true today that the Ojibwe tribe will continue to practice their treaty rights of fishing and hunting off reserved land.